that moment when you're trying to figure out exactly how fucked up your lipstick is. <laughs> Welcome back to Dear Teen Diary. I am Greta, and we are on entry 12. It is December 18th, 2001. Dear Eric. Hey! Was up? Anyway, here's the update on my life. Squiggle, 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 arrow. I'm trying to get my Christmas drawings done in time for her Friday. Tonight's Tuesday, and after this week is break. Also, Ben is sick, and I can't help but feel bad. I'm just glad I didn't give it to him. I'm desperately trying to think of something to do with Ben before or near Christmas to get a little romantic. But just like being alone would work with instrumental music going in my room and have the low lights, or if I was really lucky, a fire in my fireplace my bedroom in high school was in the basement, and originally when the guy who built the house, he just built the basement first, slapped a roof on it, went through the first Minnesota winter, and then he built the upstairs. So since my bedroom was essentially the living room originally, it has a big fireplace in it, and then that chimney just goes up to the second level fireplace, which is in the living room, and then up the chimney. So I had a big old fireplace down there. Uh, I wasn't allowed to have fires. But it was, like, covered with candles, and a huge amount of wax was just everywhere by the time I moved out. The specific instrumental music I pictured was Kenny G's Miracles Christmas album, which was one of the Christmas albums my parents had, and I had ripped all the MP3s, and it was getting close to Christmas time, so I was listening to it and picturing romance by the fireplace. So to this day, I still have a very, very warm place in my heart for Kenny G, which my husband thinks is hilarious, and he does not think Kenny G's music is sexy at all, but he can go die in a fire because it is. So I think I'll aim for this weekend, but I'm kind of scared. I so really love him. I don't want to scare him. I do love Ben more, yet I hope I don't. I mean, I love Ben more, like, when you're like, I love you more, no, I love you more. I'd actually just love to sit in a hot tub with him for hours, just being there and hoping he liked me in my swimsuit. I just never want to lose him. Obsessive, I know. But what should I do? I can't just block out all this emotion. I'm so glad I can trust this to not be read. And then I drew a little, little happy face of myself, and then I wrote that it was crappy. Anyways, I like already have my whole life revolving around him. My dreams, my worries, my hopes for the future, my phone schedule, and even where I go between classes, and what I wear. I mean, he doesn't control any of it. Hell, he doesn't even know, I don't think. But also, I think Brandon Lee <laughs> is like, avoiding me major cry oh man at this point i really wish i knew if i had actually asked brandon out did i say that because because that could be why he's avoiding me i just need to know do and be everything for everybody you know uh, apparently i already knew at this point that i felt the pressure to be everything everybody wanted me to be at the same time so that's so that's nice and insightful Man, if I knew that that young, why didn't I just not? What's cute is Ben could ask me to do any favor for him right now, and I'd do it in a heartbeat. So what's so cute? He knows that, more or less. Don't think he believes me, but he doesn't ask me to. He's just letting it go along at a comfortable pace, at least for me. I just pray that all his making out with me Friday and grabbing my tush while it happened wasn't because he thought I wanted him to. Gee, Greta, why would anyone feel pressured to do sexy things with you? You're only, like, completely obsessed with sexy time. I want him to love me and be with me forever. Is that bad? I mean, have you ever been like that over a girl? Because now I'm writing to Eric, who's this theoretical person, so I can ask him questions about what he thinks. 
Is this obsessive or unhealthy? And Eric, if you say sexual activity is unhealthy, I'll beat you. <laughs> LOL, JK. Besides, there isn't any. I'm just beyond willing, of course. You don't say. Maybe not actual sex? I'd save that for at very least one year anniversary. Well, I'd like to. What do you think? Greta C. December 8th, 2001. Ben, you are a life raft for my self-esteem. And I'm sorry that it is heavy. Because it's weighted down with all of the mean things everyone say to me all the time. So you're having to like buoy up quite the shipwreck. Proud of you. So that's all that I have to say for Dear Teen Diary. Thank you for watching so much. You should pretty, pretty please subscribe to my channel. It's very encouraging. And you should also like my video. If you missed the last entry, there will be a link up there. And once the next entry is ready and posted, you can click a link down there to go find that dude out. What am I doing? Um, <laughs> all right. Have a good day. Bye.